Good morning and welcome to Whitley Bay. I have transported my studio to Whitley Bay to meet the lovely Aaron Phillips of Ocean Fit. Aaron, hello, how are you? Good morning and uh, welcome to Whitley Bay. I was actually on your website, Aaron, earlier yeah. and I was looking at, do you do a boot camp on the beach there? Yeah, we call it beach camp though. Boot camp is a forbidden word, but yeah, yeah, we, we've been on the beach uh, in Colorcoats for over five years now. Brilliant. Uh, that's kind of where we started. That's like ah, a, okay. a group with a few people on the beach and Excellent. group there. Well, it looks very appealing to me. So uh, my name's Louise Brogan. I am here as part of the Small Business Saturday Champions team, and I want to hear all about you and your business. So first of all, Aaron, tell us a little about about you and then tell us about what your business does and who it's for. My name's Aaron Phillips. Um, I'm a personal trainer and strength and conditioning coach in Whitley Bay. Um, we, I started Ocean Fit just over five years ago now with, with a few clients on the beach um, mm -hmm. five and a half years ago. And since then, I've developed the studio and we have um, about 150 clients. Oh, wow. All, all local people who come here. Yes. And so I can see your studio behind you. So what kind of... Um, what way does it work? Do you have classes? I mean, I, I think it's a, a private membership. Tell us a little bit about how the business actually operates. Everything we do is private, so we're not an open gym. So okay. um, members sign up to specific programs which, which are designed to suit certain needs. So some of our stuff is more high intensity and some of it is um, bigger compound moves in small groups. Okay. So when, when we don't have a group on or a one-to-one -one, um Fine in the doors are shut, so it, it is very much scheduled and appointment only. Mm, interesting. That sounds good. So it's been going about five and a half years. And how did you get into this? Like, how you know what? What did you do before? Why did you want to have your own business? I kind of always been self-employed, and then I took a bit of a gap and I went traveling. So I went to Thailand, uh, in Australia for a while. I mm know. -hmm. And while I was working there, I was working as a diving instructor, so I did a lot of diving and um, just. You know, yeah, that, I, I came back um, because I met my wife. Yes. Uh, and when I was back, I was just a little bit lost. And she said, well, you know, you love staying fit and you've always been self-employed. So why don't you put the two and two together? And I did. And it's probably been the best thing I've ever done. I'm very entrepreneurial and very ambitious. Yeah. But this just works so well for me as, as, like, as a career. Um, and it's probably the best thing I ever did. I love it. And oh, there's Martin saying hello. Hi, Martin. I think I believe Martin was on a Facebook Live earlier. So, um, Aaron, have you seen? So, during the pandemic, what happened with you guys? Were you able to take your exercise, like your private clients outside? Or what happened? What happened with your? Did you go online? There were so many rules. I can't, I, I think it's a bit, I blocked out a little bit. But yeah. um, I remember this time last year, I was working out doors um there was sometimes we're allowed to work outdoors one-to-one -one, sometimes we weren't um we're allowed to have groups of five people outdoors as well six nice. people as one um but for the majority for about eight months i worked uh in the lane at the back of my house doing one-to-ones um, um, and yeah it was in the snow and the hail and everything but you know what people loved it and they came along because it, i was the only person they were seeing apart from the family so it yeah. was like everybody was so into it because it was getting them out of the house for the exercise. Yes. But the group, we, we put on an online schedule. So everybody was working online. Uh -huh. um, and it was just one to ones that online work, really. It was kind well, of amazing. Fair. I mean, the benefits of, ex like we, well, hopefully most of us know the benefits of exercise for your mental health are oh, you know, so invaluable. I can totally see. You know, I, I'm in my office and what you can't see is to my left of me, we have the stationary bike. You know, we just got the thing you put in the bottom of the back wheel so that we could keep doing stuff. And especially that first lockdown when you weren't allowed to leave your house, it's like, oh my goodness, you need to do some kind of exercise. And yeah. um, there's a shout out from Whitley Bay Chamber of Trade. Oh, hello. Thrilled to see yeah. Ariel here. He's a fantastic personal trainer and hugely passionate about the coast. Yeah, for those of us who don't really know Whitley Bay, um, Aaron, you know what? What's it like there? What you know? It's obviously you're obviously on the coast. <laughs> well, Billy Bay is a is a it's a beautiful seaside town. Yes. Um, obviously, very famous for the Spanish city, and its beaches. 
but uh, over the past few years it's 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 really redeveloped and there's there's so many new small businesses especially mm -hmm. over since the pandemic from start to finish of the pandemic well yes. from start of the pandemic to now there's mm -hmm. so many like new quirky and unique businesses it's really really right. changing but I obviously love that. the coast and the promenade and the beaches and it's yeah and do you there. find do you find that Aaron like the, the, all these the new small businesses like do you all kind of get together is there a great support locally for supporting small businesses I mean the Chamber of Trade have commented here are you are, are, you know what groups what networks do you have to support small businesses the first protocol would be the Chamber of Trade, and they do a lot for Whitley Bay business. So I'd say anybody who's not who's a business in Whitley Bay and isn't part of the Chamber is is, is missing out. I've been a member for about four or five years now, and they, they've helped me a lot, especially because I'm quite quite a unique. You know, there's not many personal training studios, so yes. um, it's, it's good to be a part of. Otherwise, I'd be quite isolated. Yeah, um, you know, you know, I've I've got a lot of good networks there and made some good friends as well. So they they really do go above and beyond. To, to help small businesses. Excellent. Now, in personal training, is there are there things you can do to become, because you know the COP26 is on, and we're all trying to be a bit more sustainable, are there things that you can do in your business around sustainability? That you we do as much as possible. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, there's only so much you can do, but we don't sell any plastic water bottles. Mm -hmm. um, we've got like some paper cups that people forget. Um, or we've got like metal ocean fit bottles that people can um, can buy, which is so we just don't sell any plastic, yeah. uh, recycle as much as possible. Obviously, we've got to clean everything now. So all of the solutions we use, I mean, this bottle could be two years old. We um, we make all of the solutions mm. ourselves. We don't right. use. But yeah, this will be about two years old. That bottle, and it's still perfect. Yes. Um, so it's all about just re I, I recycle as much as I can. I mean, I recycle like. The bit of paper out of the whole bunch, you know, as mu as as much as possible. Brilliant. I hope other businesses do as well. Everything. Oh, I love that. Yeah. yeah, it's just about just keeping the lights off when we're not using them and yeah, recycling and. That's great. Um, so what does what's happening for uh, your business in the next twelve months? Do you think? Like, what do you see um, happening next year? Tell us, tell us what you've got on the cards. For me, a big thing at the moment, which I'm putting a lot of my energy into, is um, I'm doing a nutrition degree. Oh, so that is the direction that I want to. I, I really want to push forward in is is giving some good nutritional advice to to my clients and future clients and okay. and develop them that way. Because as a personal trainer, you're not a nutritionist, so yeah. um, I really like. I want to take that to the next level. And obviously, just just keep welcoming you guys to the to the studio mm. and do a bit more social activity, which we've missed out on. Do you think it's a real like it's a real thing about entrepreneurs? We're always trying to like improve our knowledge and our skills, and that's what actually makes going to a small business for your products and services such like it's a no brainer to me because those are the people who are really investing in themselves and their knowledge and their skills so i love that you're doing the nutrition course no, without a doubt like for me i'm always always trying to educate myself always yeah. and it, the yeah. more I bring, for me the more i bring to to people who you know come here and it's just what makes it more enjoyable for you too doesn't it <clears throat> so aaron for for people who are watching us and um, whether they're in whitley bay or, or elsewhere what, what do you think they can do to support you um, as a small business owner in the area? Um, for me personally, you could make me the first port of call before looking at bigger commercial gyms. Yes. Um, like, comment, engage on any social media, mm -hmm. um, get in touch just for, you know, just anything and inquire, see how yeah. I could help you. Um, and if you're not sure, just... Just get in touch, really. That's the best thing. And you just, you know, we're such a, an inclusive and supportive facility that, mm -hmm. you know, this is for everybody here. But Brilliant. the main thing is just like, comment, share, engage, because it goes such a long way and people don't yes. realize on social media. Yeah. And maybe get in touch with you about, you know, I'm sure there's people are thinking already yeah. about, oh, what would be a really great Christmas gift for myself? Maybe, yeah. maybe I could um you know get get my husband to have yeah. a chat with Aaron about something. Exactly. <laughs> just yeah, like just make us the first port before 
go yeah. and go elsewhere. Brilliant. Aaron, absolutely lovely to meet you. Um, thank you so much. If you anything else you'd like to uh, say before we go? Not really. Just thank you so much for having me on. And I, I've, I've really enjoyed that little chat. So it's good. Thank it's you. good to see. It's good for, for small businesses to be promoted. And, and yes, I'm connecting together. Absolutely. We're very passionate. Very, very passionate. We are. We're a breed apart. <laughs> thank you so much. All right, Aaron, have a lovely day. We're in Whitley Bay. See you later, you too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.